Welcome back to Smart Watch Ticks. And a little while ago, a couple of hours now, I unboxed for the first time this amazing, at least we hope it is, uh, Android-based standalone smartwatch phone called the ZGPAX S8. And right now, we're going to fire it up. Yeah. You remember the first time you turned on? I mean, your watch or your cell phone? Well, before you started, you, you probably got everything ready. You stuck it in a nice little pillow. You got it angled just right. And then you pushed and held, right? Come on. Come on. Come on, you got power. Where are you? Oh, I hate it when it takes so long. All right, I must have the wrong button. Let's try the other one. Press and hold. Keep it going. Keep it going. No. Yes! Success! There it is! Z-Pax. Okay, it's the top button on this phone. The other one, it was the bottom button. La la la. Oh! How cute. We're seeing it all for the first time. Yes, I'm not editing it. I'm letting it go. Let's see how long it takes. Absolute empty, brand new, never been. Oh, nice looking. Huh? It starts with a, a watch face, like a regular smart watch, not like an Android phone thing with, uh, you know, the screen all kind of messed up with stuff. Well, that's nice. At least I think so. Okay, we're going to try the top button again. And sure enough, it comes up with the uh, watch on it. Let's touch it. And there we go. We've got some apps. Okay. These are the pre-installed ones, but we're looking for the most important one of all, which is the Play Store. Ta-da! There you go. That is our gateway to heaven. We'll be using that a lot. What else we got? Okay. A GPS test. Wow. So it's got a GPS in it too. Of course I know this stuff. I'm just acting surprised. Uh, we want to find settings. First thing. We're going to set the watch up with a couple of things before we get deeper into it. And not being familiar with the UE or the setup, we are going to just grope around to see what we can find. Of course, date and time. We're going to set all these off camera so that you know, I don't waste you on that. What we want to go into is developer options. There's two things in here you're going to want to play with. First one is stay awake. It will never sleep while charging. Now, a word of warning on this. We want to do this so that we'll be able to install apps and do things and not have it constantly timing out on us, but you want to make sure that you're plugged in and charged. And critical, you want to check the phone to make sure it's not too hot. It gets really, really warm. I mean, excessively warm. I actually take it, unplug it, and put it in the freezer for a minute or two to cool it down periodically when I'm doing this massive app installation kind of stuff. Check the stay awake, but monitor the temperature by physically feeling the phone. You don't want to get to the point where it actually shuts down on you. Oh, all these other good things. We'll be turning on certain ones and turning off certain ones. And let's see. This one. You see where it says show touches? Check that one on too. Okay. That's going to let you, when you're back at the home thing, and you touch it, you see a little black, a little white dot. That's going to be really helpful in the future, so that you, well, obviously I don't know what the buttons are. Okay, here we go, there we go. Now we're going back, and we're going back, and we're going back, and we're back home. That's going to let you see what's happening as you touch and move around the screen. It's kind of a debugging kind of thing for developers on smartphones but on a smart watch it's really really nice to be able to see if you've gotten close but not quite on what you're trying to touch so those two things in the developer options and we have turned on the phone that's the first look i'm going to go through now and set up my google play and set the time and location and all that and we'll be back later on another video to and really give it a shakedown on its installed apps and start the process of installing um, special apps for the phone, 
from the Play Store. All right, our take a look at the ZGPAX S8 turn on. Thanks for watching.